Hey, Alex. Um, I just uh, found out a um, really intriguing news about Huawei, and they they are ready to launch full series five of five G. Do you know that? No, actually, um, of course, right now tech is all, uh, all always in the headline. Uh, um, you know the 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 NVIDIA, of course, the AI, but the five point yeah. five G. So it's not six, but five point five. What about? Yeah. Well, apparently it's the ten times uh, the speed uh, increase of five G right now. And uh, the uh, interesting thing is that uh, right now uh, China is actually running five G across the entire nation, and with this upgrade. As I uh, realized that uh, from different reports, the the way that they upgrade to five or five G is very simple. They just add another module on top of five G, and that will increase the um, uh, uplink and downlink uh, like ten times. I have no idea how fast you know that really is, but uh, I would I would imagine uh, now that uh, with this five point five G, uh, in terms of uh, you know your your mobile ex your mobile user experience, even the EV, right? The EV in in particular, I heard that uh, uh, with five point five G, uh, the you know the 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 speed is so fast that uh, now they can actually uh, they don't really need a whole lot of camera on the EV. The reason why you need so many e so many cameras on the EV is to um, is to detect. The surroundings, but now with the 5.5G or even 6G in the future, uh, the EV uh, don't need too many uh, cameras. Instead, they rely on the um, the satellite, okay, to sense uh, what's happening around the road, uh, around the cars, uh, the the, uh, the the traffic. You know, <laughs> that would have a lot of uh, profound impact. To the future of the uh, development of EV, perhaps even your phone, because right now it's so fast, you really don't need any storage on your phone, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and you can uh, experience the same same speed just like you would, uh, you know, using your uh, PC, your mobile phone typing, and uh, that have profound impact uh, to the architecture uh, of your PC or your mobile phone. Uh, I, I remember I heard, uh, you know, some time ago uh, when the chairman of uh, Huawei uh, made some statements about in the future of the uh, mobile network that it would have a profound uh, impact on the architecture. You no longer need, um, uh, you know, uh, the internal storage, right? Because all the uh, applications like your mobile apps, and data is all stored uh, on the cloud because uh, the uh, 5G or 6G, you know, the uh, download and uh, upload so fast, you know, you you really don't feel the difference. Hmm. So that's just going the like the way with the uh, PC because. Oh, yeah, right? absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, PC, then uh, they, uh, they, they just move everything to the to the to the uh, to the cloud. And there is something called what uh, software as a service or something like that, right? Yeah. So you don't actually yeah. uh, have uh, all the copies of uh, the software, Excel, Word right. on your computer. Everything you just uh, use it off the off the cloud or internet. Yeah, right now mm -hmm. you know you already have the SaaS um, mm -hmm. software as a service, and uh, right now even uh, for Microsoft Office. You don't have to uh, install anything now. You don't have to install yeah. <laughs> the software on the PC now. You just use it uh, on, on the web. So uh, yeah, that is really the, the trend. And uh, the interesting thing is, is that uh, you know you don't you don't see a whole lot of uh, you don't even need a router at home. You don't mm -hmm. even need a modem at home. In the future, all you need is a connection, right? You just have oh, yeah. a connection and that's it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, there's there's no difference between uh, accessing the internet at home. Or outside on the road, there's no difference mm -hmm. now, right? Yeah. Remember, I told you that right now I'm using 5G uh, transmitter at home from uh, T-Mobile, right? Right. So yeah. That, yeah, that is an integrated um, modem and the router, all you want. So you, so you, have, ditch, uh, you have ditch cable. You yeah. Have ditch cable, eventually, right? when you um, uh, when 5G, 5.5G or 6G 
uh, is available in the future, hopefully, uh, also in the United States, that uh, you don't really have, you don't really need a modem. You you don't really need a router at home, because by then your mobile phone, your your PC, anything, that will be, uh, you know, they will they will build, they will have uh, uh, the telecom chip built in the, in the device. So essentially, your phone is just a terminal, right? Absolutely. You just Absolutely. You just connect to a, a, a over the air network and everything is done over there. You the go. Air. There you go. Absolutely. So so by then you can carry your PC, you can work at home, you can work in your car, you can work on the road, doesn't matter. All right, because everything is all connected through the air. Mm -hmm. Well, Isn't I remember when they uh, first uh, have 5G is touted as um, because of its speed, right? Uh, right. It's for connection for uh, Internet of Things, but uh, I believe Huawei when they uh, right now really uh, comes out out of the gate with the 5.5G. I think it's driven a lot by um, you know the, uh, the for the vehicles for for, for mobile because I've read that um, eventually there would be a big a big thing is the uh, vehicle to vehicle communication. It means in the car on the road, they actually can, um, because when they have self-driving cars, cars and all these uh, different features on, on the newer vehicles, they re rely a lot on the communication between car and car. So, but then we have so many cars on the road and at different speed traveling, you have to have very, very fast uh, connection. And I think that's where 5.5G comes in. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Like I said just now, uh, eventually, um, all the uh, EVs that will be e equipped uh, with the uh, satellite chip. So essentially, mm -hmm. uh, your car will constantly uh, connect it to the cloud, and the mm -hmm. um, the EV will be um, uh, monitored by some sort of uh, you know traffic system. Uh, you know, and and, and they would uh, actually uh, communicate with your car, uh, telling your mm -hmm. car that hey, you have car coming from behind. Or you know, hey, there's traffic uh, in front of you, uh, and then instruct you to slow down or or, or change lanes. Uh, right now, unfortunately, uh, with the network is not able to uh, communicate that fast. That's why you will need uh, cameras around your car, right? So it's self reliance, and uh, and the car, the EV itself. Uh, make make judgment based on the surrounding of the cameras and uh, you know uh, and and make adjustment. So with the 5.5G, uh, that would be fast enough, right? So uh, that would that would have a uh, you know uh, in, internal change of the EV uh, camera system and also communication system between the car and the um, the network. So I think that that would have. Uh, you know, uh, profound impact, and uh, perhaps it would bring down the cost. You know, and uh, eventually it would make the road safer. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm sure. But then, uh, if it's uh, far away, would it come to the United States? Well, that is a big question, and that's a good question, Alex. It's, you see, that's the problem right now, because um, right now with the national security issue. Um, Huawei is banned in the United States and some of the Western uh, nations uh, in Europe. Um, see, the problem is it's not just the um, um, the, uh, the the five or five five G. Is uh, you will soon see um, that uh, there will be an incompatibility issue uh, between the uh, the countries, right? Because if you are not using Huawei. Uh, that means when you bring your phone or bring your PC, <laughs> 5 or 5G uh, uh, compliance, and yet when you bring that to the United States or to um, you know to Europe, they don't run run the same protocol, right? That means you can you can use a PC or you can use a mobile phone, right? Unless unless right you use the satellite uh, calling feature, right? So that doesn't use the local uh, network. But then, of course, you know that would be very expensive. So um, right now, I believe that the uh, United States and also the uh, European countries or whichever that's not using Huawei, they are at the crossroad. They have to consider uh, if they if they are not 
um, uh, installing Huawei 5.5.5G uh, uh, in the future, they will be they will be way behind. All right. Of course, that they, they've been uh, talking about. Remember, there's an alliance uh, that's uh, led by the United States, uh, Japan, and South Korea. Right. They uh, coughed up some uh, uh, big money uh, to jump from uh, 4G to 6G. But uh, many analysts have uh, been saying that, you know, just that, that's just uh, impossible. You have to take a step at a time. You have to have a, um, a 5G network already running, right? Already running your infrastructure because each new generation, essentially, you have to throw away your old generation, right? So, um, yeah, I think that is uh, really the economical impact to many countries not to uh, go with uh, Huawei because Huawei, you know, they, they are uh, well known for uh, low cost, high performance, right? And uh, I don't know what's going to happen to uh, uh, United States uh, because right now I understand that uh, they are, uh, our 5G network is actually um, using the, uh, the Nokia architecture. So is that considered uh comparable to Huawei or is just a, maybe a, a generation or so behind you think? Well, it's different architecture. I don't know mm -hmm. too much of the technical, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you, well, for most of us, uh, the, the, the the difference uh, you, you can basically tell is that, uh, you know, in, in China, you can uh, make calls using a mobile phone inside the elevator, right? Yeah, okay. But you cannot do the same in the United States. OK, so that is the drawback uh, uh, of the Nokia architecture. But again, you know, um, we got used to it because we uh, <laughs> we realized that, hey, every time when you walk into the elevator, you, you know, you you naturally will turn off your phone. Right. But, uh, you know, remember, uh, even in Hong Kong, right, you, you can talk uh, in, in subway, uh, even uh, in the, um, you know, in the train while it's moving. But I'm not sure about here because, um, uh, you know, we, we don't ride train here in the United States. I, I don't. I don't know about you, but I, I don't. Um, so there is a, um, you know, there is there are several area um, that the, um, the the United States and also the Western uh, you know, countries have to think about uh, whether they should stick with uh, Nokia or uh, wait for uh, 6G or you know, go with uh, Huawei and uh, be compatible, right? Because, you know, that would bring a lot of uh, business opportunities too. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so anyway, I think that uh, we just want to bring this, uh, you know, latest uh, update uh, to all of you in the audience and hope that, uh, you know, you sh uh, uh, you like what uh, what we've been talking about with 5 Pi g although, uh, some of you, if not all of you listening who are living in the United States, you may you may not even have the chance uh, to experience, uh, you know, uh, 5.5G, but at least you know about this. Uh, anyway, if you have any uh, uh, idea or uh, any comment about 5.5G, do let us know. And uh, we may not be uh, everything, we, we may not be uh, absolutely right because uh, some of this um, 5.5G technical is, is really uh, beyond our uh, comprehension. So if there's any of you uh, uh, know more about 5.5G, please share with us. Uh, I think we're going to stop here and uh, we'll bring more uh, in interesting content uh, in our next episode. All right, until then, have a great week. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.